Hello, today the main topic is cardiac versus renal cause of edema. Okay, just in brief, how what do you mean by edema? It is the accumulation of fluid in the subcutaneous space. Now, what do you mean by that? In a total body water, we know that 60 percentage of the body weight is water. Okay, now uh, this is a small diagram. Okay. If a patient, uh, if a person is around, uh, you say 60 kilo, okay, 60, uh, this is the ICF fluid, okay, it is found that around 28 liter of the body fluid is in the ICF, okay, and this is the interstitial fluid we say, okay, this is a plasma uh, fluid, okay, here the blood flows, okay, plasma. This comes around 4.5 liter and this comes around 9.5 liter. This is the space between the plasma and the ICF. Okay, this is ECF, extra cellular. And this is the increase in the interstitial fluid is what is causing the edema. Okay, this is the vascular membrane and this is the plasma membrane of the cell. Okay, it is an increase in the ICF which causes the edema. Now, how do you define just clinically pitting edema is there and non-pitting, okay. We will go into it uh, brief in the next class, but coming to it, what do you mean by pitting edema, when do you experience? When there is an increase in weight of 10 to 15 percentage of the body weight. When there is increase, you can experience a pitting edema and or there is an increase in the circumference of the limbs more than 10 percentage and uh, you treat it with mostly diuretics, okay. And how do you assess the progress? You, you check it by the day to day body weight. This is how you find. Now what are the causes of pitting edema, okay. It is congestive cardiac failure, renal failure, okay, renal issues. Now, coming to the topic, how do you identify is it cardiac or renal? Suppose a person comes, the, if a person comes with, he comes with a dyspnea, okay, and that is one of the cause of, you can point out to cardiac cause, and uh, he is having engorged neck vein, okay and he is having on a co cardiomegaly okay and he is having history of heart disease okay and uh, what do you see then uh, maybe his uh, edema starts is only in the legs okay and it towards the evening end of the day and he complains of a sh tightness in the shoes okay this all points out to maybe cardiac cause of edema and if a patient is bedridden he will have sacrum sacrum uh, edema pitting edema okay then how do you know if the person is having a renal cause of edema there is a history of renal issues we don't know plus or minus okay and uh, usually it starts in the face followed by upper limbs and it descends downwards and it is usually seen in the early morning okay one classical finding is scrotal swelling scrotal swelling and lower eyelid lower eyelid i am specifically saying okay these are the classical classical of renal causes of edema and other causes in renal is there is a proteinuria, massive proteinuria, okay. In the urine you can see lots of protein, hypoproteinemia in the blood, okay. And another finding is hypercholesteremia, hypercholesteremia, there is an increase in the cholesterol level, okay. Why do you think uh, in the renal it goes into the lower eyelids and periorbital? It is due to the loose subcutaneous tissue okay in this area and so there is accumulation of fluid in the periorbital okay and uh, scrotal the causes of renal it can be uh, 
renal is insufficiency okay causes causes of uh, edema in renal okay renal insufficiency or cardiac failure secondary to hypertension cardiac failure secondary to hypertension okay just in brief in uh, cirrhosis of liver also we find uh, spitting liver uh, pitting edema and it is usually starting with ascites okay then it progress down to legs then uh, face okay so i hope my, we have cleared we have uh, read about edema okay any doubt you can ask me then we have identified a person who comes with renal as well as cardiac edema we can identify okay and a little in detail of the liver okay liver cirrhosis causing edema these topics we should keep in mind so that we in future we get to know how the patient is behaving.